these three simple candlestick patterns will drastically improve your trading. Let me show you how they work. The last one is about to cause a reversal in Bitcoin. Check it out. First, let's cover what a candlestick actually is. A candle on a trading chart simply indicates price movement within a certain amount of time. I personally tend to use the four hour time frame. So this means that each single candle on the chart represents four hours worth of price action. A candlestick is made up of a wick and a body. A candlestick wick shows the absolute top and bottom within that time frame, while the body shows the opening and closing of that candle. First, let me show you the engulfing pattern. An engulfing candle typically happens when your current candle has a body that extends past in both directions the previous candle. Let me show you an example right here. This green candle right here is engulfing the red candle. Its green body entirely engulfs the red body and it instantly showed a large move up. This is a bullish example. Now, right next to it is a fantastic example of a bearish engulfing pattern. As you can see, the red body fully engulfed the green body and now it's moving back down. Now, to enter into this pattern, you're gonna wanna wait until the candle closes. If you were gonna trade on this candle, you would wait until it closes and start your trade on this candle. Now, it would have closed right here and opened up, but then it would have moved straight back down. Next up, I'm gonna show you the hammer and the shooting star pattern. Now, these patterns are extremely similar. The only difference is the hammer indicates bullish movement and the shooting star indicates bearish movement. First, let's start with the hammer pattern. What you're going to be looking for is a small body to the very top with very little, if any, wick to the top side and a long wick to the bottom. Here's a fantastic example here. This green candle right here has a small body with a tiny bit of wick to the top and a long wick to the bottom, kind of resembling a hammer. And as you can see, it immediately went up. Now the shooting star pattern is the exact opposite. You're gonna be seeing a red candle with a small body at the bottom with a long wick to the upside. Here's a fantastic example of a shooting star pattern right here. You're gonna see a small body at the top, very little if any wick towards the bottom and a long wick shooting up, hence the shooting star pattern. Now, again, this immediately went down. In order to actually trade with the hammer or the shooting star pattern, what you're gonna wanna do is wait for the candle to close. Upon the opening of the next candle, that's when you're gonna wanna make your trade. Now, if you're using the hammer, at the close of the actual hammer pattern, you're gonna wanna make your entry, and at the close of the shooting star, you'll wanna make your exit. The last pattern I'm gonna show you is called a doji. What a doji is going to look like is a very small sliver of a body with equal length wicks to either side, kind of resembling a plus sign or a star. A doji will typically represent indecision in the market. If you find it at the end of the trend, this usually means that traders aren't sure if they're going to keep going and typically will actually reverse the trend and you'll see move to the opposite side. Here's a fantastic example of a doji right here. As soon as it hit the bottom, we're gonna see a very, very tiny body with a long wick to either side, about equal in length. And as you can see, it moved straight up. Right here, we can see a bearish doji pattern. Like I said before, small body, equal length wicks to either side. Now, trading on a doji pattern is a tad bit more complicated as it requires an extra confirmation before you make your entry. In order to find that entry, what you're gonna to wanna to do is wait for your current candle to surpass the high of the previous doji candle. In this case, I would have entered right here at about $18,616 on Bitcoin because the, that was the high of the previous doji candle. So if the candle doesn't surpass that, I won't make my entry. Now, confirmation on a bearish doji is the exact opposite. Rather than look to, looking to enter at the high of the previous candle, you're gonna look to exit at the low of the previous candle. Here's a fantastic example of this. This candle surpassed the low of the doji candle and therefore we would have exited right here. Now, here's a fantastic live example of a doji star that could actually turn into a shooting star pattern depending on how it plays out. This is why we always wait for the close before we do actually enter our trades. Right now, we're seeing a small body with small wicks to either direction at the top of a trend towards a resistance. This is why I think it's probably gonna move down. Either way, we have a bearish signal plus a resistance, plus the trade confident indicators are near the top and beginning to move down again, indicating bearish movement. Now, if this does play out, we'll likely find our support around the $19,080 level for Bitcoin. Now for my closing thoughts. Trading patterns are absolutely never guaranteed. There's always gonna be instances of prices moving up or down despite what a trading pattern may say. 
what you're going to want to do to combat this is to get as many confirmations on a trade as you possibly can. This means using indicators and metrics like we have here at Trade Confident, looking for other trading patterns, looking for fundamentals, everything like that. The more confirmations you can have for a trade, the less risk you'll incur on a trade and the more likely you are to profit. With that, good luck in your trades and let me know down in the comments what your favorite trading pattern is.